Hello, how long does it take to charge your EV on a long road trip? Well, I'm driving from Cornwall to John O'Groats and today I'm going to see how long I'm sitting around in my Tesla waiting for it to charge. But of course, I've got things to do. I've got to go to the loos. I'll have to go and get something to eat and drink and also stretch my leg. Hello, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Do hope you can like and subscribe and please leave any comments down below. Thank you very much. So I'm at my very first stop, Michael Wood, going to get a coffee and probably use the loos. Then I'm going to come back and see if the supercharger has filled up the car with electricity or enough, more importantly, because we don't charge to 100%, especially if people are waiting, to see if I've got enough to get to the next destination. Well, I've been to the loos, I've got some coffee and uh, the car has enough charge to get to the next stop. So I've waited zero at Michael Wood Services. So now we'll go on to the next stop on our journey, heading north up to the top of Scotland. Well done. So I've pulled over the Hilton Park UK North Pound supercharger. Didn't need to, because I would have had plenty of charge uh, where I was aiming for, which was uh, Charnock Richard. But I'd arranged to talk to Jennifer, my wife, on FaceTime, and so pulled over. Now, and before you say, oh, well, that's cheating, you, well, you know, if you're going to do things like that, this is a real world test, you know. It's not what car journalists driving up the M1 and uh, not having kids or any other things, if their wife phoned up or could say, darling, I'm working. This is the real world. And to be honest, I was charging for... Uh, barely 15 minutes and talking to my wife uh, for three quarters of an hour but uh, even if I wasn't it would have taken me at least 15 minutes I've got some food I've got some more coffee it's been a few hours since the last break and um, this is a real world test noticeably here there's a lot of Tesla superchargers here but there's also a lot of grid serve which is good to see so we're only about a third way in our journey we've had a couple of stops and so far we really haven't uh, lost any time uh, through supercharging in fact even more because if i had a, a nice car i would have stopped for coffee gone to the loo then i would have had to got, get some fuel and that would have taken extra time something i haven't had to do um, and this is the real world of uh, an ev what it's really like only about a third of the way uh, we're heading for abington tonight probably be getting there a bit later and uh, have a good night's sleep before heading up to John O'Groats uh, tomorrow and some of the beautiful Scotland uh, scenery. So just arrived at Gretna Green. Uh, these are some of the new, uh, much faster chargers here. Um, although it's listed as Gretna Green, I've been to Gretna Green before, superchargers, but this is in a different location. Been driving for at least uh, two and a half hours since uh, the last stop, near a three. Um, so we're in Scotland and uh, the traffic wasn't too bad after the last stop. Um, it's been very enjoyable, but of course, this is not a service area. so. Um, it's a shopping shopping area and I'm just having a look to see if we could do with a bathroom as my Canadian wife would say. Agreed this isn't ideal for ladies at this time of night. Actually there's a pub here also. Might try and uh, use the pub here see if you can get soft drink or coffee maybe. So I had a nice coffee in the pub back there and uh, went to the loo, which is all I needed. It's well lit here, so that's pretty good. But had a conversation with someone at the bar who was very chatty, told me how it's a false economy, electric cars, that uh, all the energy comes from coal. When I pointed out that it was wind turbines, ah, well, it's, they're made by coal. And oh, he worked in the oil industry, so I'm not at all surprised he was a little bit biased. I needed that 20 minute break to walk 
go to the loo, get a coffee and I'm getting back to the car and we'll be ready to go for the last 50 minutes. So we're setting off now just after five. We're 26 percent at Perth, 70 percent at Inverness. It's telling us we'll be at Perth 20 minutes and Inverness for 35 and we'll get to Gills Bay at 12.37. That's about an hour before I need to so that would work well so we'll get going now. The Tesla Perth supercharger is in a big park and ride. Often seem to end up here about a five minute walk down to the Londis garage where there's coffee and toilets or you can just stay in the car. So this morning I've been driving about an hour and a half to Perth and needed to stretch my legs and wander down for coffee and uh, by the time I did that there was enough charge to get to our next destination. So uh, we'll head off now to Inverness. So got to Inverness, been driving for about two hours, leaving uh, Perth and ready for a coffee, stretch my legs and probably visit the bathroom. Car has just warned me on the app that the charging's almost complete. So I'll head off back to the multi-storey car park. This is the entrance to the Tesla supercharger in Inverness. It's in a car park and you take a ticket and uh, you don't have to pay, you just, uh, um, they let you through. I think they have a camera so they can see if you're a Tesla and they just open the gates or whatever, or you press the button. I've never had to do that. Anyway, let's get on and uh, we'll get up to Gills Bay near John O'Groats. So it's telling me that I've got, uh, I'll have 46% when I get to Gills Bay. Um, it's currently got 241 miles. Let's head off now. Um, really, in the 15 minutes that the, the charge, I put a lot of charge in, a lot of miles in, I've just had time to walk across to Starbucks, get a coffee, go to the loo, and of course I stretch my legs in that process, and a quick phone call to the um, Pentland Ferries to ask if I can go on the earlier ferry, and I can. So we'll get off now and head on to Gills Bay, due there, oh, 12.35, so that'll be 55 minutes before the ferry and that's good so let's get on so I'm at Gills Bay waiting for the ferry um, looking at my stats and conclusions it's 773 miles from Beauty Cornwall to Gills Bay I stopped when I wanted to stop if I wanted to stop in as few places as possible probably could have done it in three or even less um, but of course I was charging pretty much between 40 and 80%, uh, which is a lot faster. And I stopped when I wanted to stop, when I wanted something to eat, needed the lose or to stretch my legs. Often I was driving at uh, two, two and a half hours at a time. Uh, and of course on British roads, that roads are, roads are pretty slow. A lot of it was during the day. Some of it was early morning. I stopped overnight. Uh, at a place which, which normally would be uh, a charging point, Abington. Um, but at the moment, the Tesla superchargers aren't working. Um, this is a real world test. It's not a motoring journalist for what car. Um, because, for example, I actually uh, FaceTimed Jennifer, my wife, um, when the car wasn't charging or only part of the time was it charging i talked for a lot longer um so there was surplus time and in the real world i mean especially of a family or you're with a lady they'll want to stop more often now if you're the guy that wants to drive 800 miles with just one stop or less then i'm not that guy i don't want to be that guy and i can think of no worse torture than going all that distance um, without a stop. It's not the world that I want to live in. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you got something out of it, especially if you're thinking um, about an electric car in the future. And um, 
please use my link if you're thinking about a Tesla Model 3. If you're not thinking of a new one, new Teslas are from about £12,000. And um, I would recommend that you go and have a look at uh, one or two. And uh, because once you've driven one, you, you will never go back to a nice car. Thanks very much. See you next time and take care. Bye.